Look at us. We look good. Look at looking mighty clean. <laughs> I like it. All right, guys. It's your boy Nitro Hot Fire here, or Nigel Munjuri for for those of my government people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joined here with one of my best bros, my homie, Jordan. What's up, y'all? Walters. Yeah. AKA Snowflake the Pillager. To those who know about these hands and in the LARPing circles. <laughs> so I wanted to bring you on mm -hmm. the vlog so that we can kind of talk about, I guess, I guess I didn't do a vlog back, back when we were doing everything, which right. I kind of regret. Now, right, like we should, we should have like more footage of this stuff. But like, Jordan here was actually like around like the first start of my whole filmmaking career and stuff. And actually, you kind of started your own thing too. Yeah, and you should tell, you should talk about yeah. that. I did. Uh, so we did a whole lot of like filming and stuff together. I was like, man, I can do that too. So I did my own YouTube channel for a couple years, Java Central, that was all set up about coffee. I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> I was fronting as someone who did, and I just winged the whole thing. And uh, it, it turned out better than I expected. Yeah, like, you, you actually did a really good job. Yeah. The, the quality turned out good, and I actually got my first microphone for it, which is what I still use for my voiceover stuff now, fun fact. And now you're doing voice, voice acting. Voice acting. Been doing that for, dude, I, I figured it out. Five years. Dang. Five years. It's been that long. Yeah, because, <sighs> yeah, I've done Nerd Torch for about five years. Yeah. yeah. So you hopped into the voice acting game and did that for a while. Yeah. About, about the same time I hopped in and, and started doing the cafe stuff. Yeah. So how much... I guess, how was the start of that, and then, like, where is that start versus where is it now? Bro, started on Fiverr, which I did Fiverr, because you told me about Fiverr, yep. and I was <laughs> like, oh, let me hop in on that, and I did, like, st I started off on Fiverr doing stupid videos for people. You I was, was like, you was a Justin Bieber person. I was a Justin Bieber person. <laughs> yeah. I had the Bieber bangs. Bro, I had a co-worker. That her daughter thought I was Justin Bieber when I started working there. Dang. And she was all like, Ooh. and I'm like, uh, hello, child. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say here. And I'm like, I am not singing for you. It's going to be bad. Not happening. Did that first. And then I was like, totally went dead on Fiverr for like a hot minute. Yeah. And then I was like, you know what? Fiverr's still a thing. I'm going to hop in on this with my voiceover stuff. And it gave me a leg up because I was already ranked. And then it just went from there. I went from like getting a few things here and there. Now it's like I got to record in the morning before I go to do my actual job. And then I record after work because <laughs> otherwise I'm going to get loaded down too much with stuff. And Wait, you were recording every day now? Every day. What? Every day. Yeah. I didn't know you were doing it like that. Every day. I, I did this morning. Dang. I've been doing stuff every That's day. Insane, you know? Yeah, I've been doing that and hopping through different other freelancing websites and stuff. So I'm like, I keep busy on it, man. I keep Dang, it. That's keep crazy. busy on it. So like, yeah, I hopped off of Fiverr to do YouTube, and so then I I started studying filmmaking and stuff, mm -hmm. and eventually I was doing the celebrity interviews. You were yeah. There. You were there for my first set. Oh, Nerdicon, yeah. Actually. I remember that. Yeah, you. it was at Nerdicon. That's the first group of like voice actors I ever interviewed. Uh, man, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know how you pulled that off. <laughs> I was like, man, there ain't no way we're gonna get these famous voice actors to sit here with us and talk with us and do this vlog. Bro, you did a whole video, and I was like, I don't know how you pulled that. <laughs> that was amazing. It was the pitch. So I walked up to him and said, hi, my name is Nigel. I'm here with Nerd Torch TV, the spot on Instagram for anime, comics, and gaming. And I was wondering, well, are you ready to do your interview today for NerdCon? And they were looking at me like... Wow! Yeah. <laughs> wow! Like, I just blurted that out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that came from me working at, um, what was it? It was when I worked at AFNI. It was like I was in the sales department. Oh yeah. And so like I was like, I wonder if I sounded really professional, would they go for it? And they just kinda went for it. I was like, wow, I'm over here wow. talking to these people. <laughs> right? That's insane. Well that's like one time I went to um, a con up in Huntsville, Alabama, and uh who was the Red Ranger was there. Oh and, yeah, yeah. And this was during like during 
2020, like smack dab in the middle. How it went on, I don't know how it happened. Yeah, yeah. As everything With was closed. But nobody was hardly there. It was like super dead. So I got to talk to the Red Ranger and just like, Cut the crap with him. It was great. I found out apparently dude's like a medic. He's what? done like uh, EMT stuff. And so I was talking all medical stuff with him, just chilling with him. <laughs> it was so freaking cool. And then for some reason I thought, oh, that'll translate over to other cons. So I saw him at another one. Now nah, it's back to normal. Uh, it was just rotating people through. And I was like, oh, hey. Oh, well, oh he, he I'm gone. recognize you. No, of course not. Yeah, they say it takes like the three times for somebody to see you or talk to you to, for them to recognize you. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, it takes it takes a bit. <laughs> yeah. But it's still at least you got that experience. Though. It was it was pretty dope. I ain't gonna lie. So uh, I don't know if I'll ever be able to do that again. No idea, <laughs> unless another wild virus shows up and goes nuts. <laughs> but let's hope that don't happen. But you know, whatever. So what was what? So what was it like when I came up with these crazy shenanigans to film? Like, what did you think about all of it as it Dude, was <laughs> so I just remember starting because I, before I even moved here, I had nothing to do with like filming, movies, nothing. It was just something I enjoyed like every other person. Yeah. And then you showed up, my friend then Zach showed up, and y'all were like, let's go film everything. <laughs> and I'm like... I think Zach but, was in it before me, actually. Yeah, yeah Zach yeah. was filming stuff. And then you got in on it, but when yours was more fun. <laughs> His was more like these weird psychological thrillers that were like indie films that never went anywhere. But yours was like, hey, let's go do a fight scene in a hotel. Yeah, that was fun. We that did. was fantastic. <laughs> it's like, let's see if we could do this before they kick us out is what it felt like. And I was like, bet, exactly. let's go. Exactly. <laughs> or like running around downtown Auburn in various places that will remain ma nameless and <laughs> maybe potentially getting uh, almost caught by security guards doing things. Yeah, good times. <laughs> that was fun. But nah, it was like, I, I didn't know what to expect. That's That was the fun part. I was like, I don't know what's fitting to happen because most of the time they want a script. Yeah. And yeah. when there wasn't, I didn't read it anyways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he did read the script in Blood Brothers. So yes. Like, yeah, Jordan is in Blood Brothers. I, I had to bring him back for it. Like, we had a whole bunch of new people, too, that mm -hmm. was, like, doing stuff with us. And um, that, that's kind of cool how, like, I guess the group morphs and changes over time. Yeah. A lot people come in, some stay, some move out, but the, it's always there. Yeah. Pretty dope. I know, like, so... Because I, I wanted to get back to, like, the roots of, like, the filmmaking stuff, which is why we just shot. That's, oh, we didn't explain why we're in the costume. Right? We're just chilling. Yeah, we it's just shot some stuff that was just random, like a skit where um, I was a rejected Batman sidekick. And he, he played Nightwing, who Nightwing yeah. also quit being mm. Batman sidekick. Mm -hmm. And so we just kind of just hopped up and, and just did it. We did. Like, no script. We just, like set up and did it and i ain't gonna lie it's beautiful yeah, yeah. it's gonna be amazing and i'm really excited too because like um when we first started i was like i was shooting with a camcorder and like some of the stuff we shot like the quality wasn't quite there mm -mm. but over time it started looking more and more cinematic and now i'm to a level where everything just looks good now and so we already had i felt like we already had the skill to hop out there and just do stuff Mm -hmm. and, so now, and so now it looks good too. Exactly. And so it just adds to it. Yeah, the film quality I've noticed, like especially just from the beginning. Beginning was, it was what it was. Yeah. It was all right. <laughs> but now it's like, dude, this is like, this is like some 4K movie stuff going on. <laughs> like it looks super clean. And then the stuff we do though, Stuff you come out of your brain. I don't know how it comes out your brain. It's amazing. And I'm like, we need more of this in our lives. Because yeah. ain't nobody else making it. They're making these boring old movies. And I'm like, nah, fam. We need this. Yeah, and that's what I want to do this year, too. Because I want to be like, I want to film a lot of stuff. Like, I, like I said, I'm still gonna, I'm going back to working on the Roku channel. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I I was, for a while, I was working on getting that going. And it's just, it is a lot of work. But, um... Now I'm just pedal to the metal, 
just doing stuff. Like, that's why when we showed up here tonight, I was like, hey, we're just going to dress up. We got the premise of the idea, and we're just going to do the thing. <laughs> Like me and Leilani have come up with like these, these uh, cat this category that we call bro movies, and so we've been watching movies lately, and some of the movies we've been seeing, I was like, they kind of fit in the category that we call bro movies, and so the bro movies is it's just a bunch of dudes. It's usually a comedy. It's just a bunch of dudes working on a movie together. It's usually a comedy, and if you listen to the dialogue in it, it's almost sounds completely random and it makes it seem like these are just a bunch of dudes who are actors who got together and was like hey y'all want to shoot a movie today <laughs> <laughs> and so they just did it and it just turned out like hilarious and dope and so like some of the things some of the bro movies we we saw like there's one that just came out called bullet train mm. that movie is freaking hilarious and mm. like watching it you really sit there and like somebody somebody could not have wrote this down. Like not like the script for this. <laughs> like who came up with this? And then um another one we saw was called uh, The Other Guys. Mm-hmm. That was a, a Buddy Cop film. It was like Will Ferrell, uh who uh, I forgot who it was. I think Mark Wahlberg, I think it is. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then yeah. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson was in it, The Rock was in it, like and they're just in it just doing some of the craziest stuff. So, like, for instance, Samuel Jackson and The Rock, they play the the elite buddy cop, mm. like, classic buddy cop. They, they drive a muscle car. Oh, they're yeah. beating up bad guys, getting in gunfights and stuff. Oh, yeah. And so they're the, they're the guys, and then they die being stupid, by the way. <laughs> it's so <laughs> stupid how they die. <laughs> but they freaking die. And so now, like, Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg have to kind of take over that role. Trying, they're trying to become... Oh the new like elite buddy cops. Like, that's freaking hilarious. Like <laughs> that's fantastic. But like I want to do that. I want to I want to I want us to be able to like um make films and stuff and like just have fun with it. And because like it's crazy how we started this out for fun. Mm-hmm. Now you have a whole freaking career off of it. Right? Like <laughs> like as a voice actor. Right? Like, that's insane. You're you're shooting every day. Every day. And now, like, I've started my vlog, so now I'm shooting every day. You're shooting every day? So, like, it's insane. Golly. And it all started with a camera. (laughs) Always does. Man, that's, that. but for real, though, we need more bro movies. Yes. Like, that is, that's a a genre that no one's doing, and we need more of. (laughs) Because... Ain't nothing like a bunch of dudes acting like a bunch of dudes. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. And it's hilarious because if you just let guys be guys together, man, you get the best stuff. You can't script it. <laughs> so what was what would you say would be some of the most fun things you remember from like just doing creative projects and stuff? All right, fight scenes. Learning how to fight because I could not fight before I knew you. <laughs> I was horrible, bro. And so you had to train me to know how to fight. And then after that, we started doing fight scenes. And the more I got into it, I was like, okay, I can dig this. This is fun. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was getting into it. And so that, and then just the, the dumb stuff we did. <laughs> how, we, how we didn't get hurt. Because <laughs> we were talking about this earlier. Yeah. About that one thing. I don't know. Getting chased by zombies. Yeah, we did a zombie movie. And we jumped off a ledge at random. It's an improv zombie. Totally. Scene. And so it was late at night, and we were pretending like having. Like we were vlogging ourselves in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. And there was this ledge. I knew Jordan was afraid of heights. Mm. And I was like. I was like, Jordan, we got to go. The zombies are coming. We got to go. Mm. And so I jumped first. And as I'm leaping off the ledge, I, I swear, we're like 13 feet in the air. And we're leaping from, like, the top of a brick wall over to, like, a plant bed. But, like, so the brick wall here and the plant bed here. And then in between here was a walkway. So we had to jump from one ledge to the next. And Jordan was afraid of heights. <laughs> yeah. And I wanted to just test to see, is he going to jump for the film? Like, this is supposed to be all improv, so. <laughs> What's some, some old nonsense is, I don't find out about this thought process until literally, like, today. And I'm like, <laughs> Which what? Like, it was like nine years ago. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm like, what the crap? Because I, I, I remember running up to the cell, I'm like, 
we do we doing this <laughs> And then I see him go, and I'm like, well, I can't not do it now. I can't not do it. And then yeah. I did it, and I mean, I only just kind of hurt myself, so yeah. it was fine. It was fine. It was fine. We did not get hurt doing most majority of what we did. Maj yeah, majority. There's some stuff, though. I, I remember there was, like, one thing. I don't It may have been the same place where we were running, jumping off of, like, it was probably, like, a six-foot ledge, and then... It, it was tiered down all the way to like down to a ground floor. So we'd run and jump off, roll, run, jump off, oh, roll, yeah, yeah, run, yeah. jump off, roll. And I do it on all of them. And I'm like, <laughs> so that's how we're doing it today, huh? <laughs> well, all right. Fear of heights. I'm just going to close my eyes and we're going to wing it tonight. Use it there, though. Use it there. God. I will say, I, I worked with CJ. I don't know if you remember him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He is afraid of heights mm -hmm. way more than you were. Mm. Like, there was a scene where he had to roll out of a pickup truck. <laughs> and it wasn't even a big pickup truck. It was like one of those old Fords that's like the size of a car. It was mm -hmm. a four-cylinder, tiny truck. Yeah. And he could not do it. Like, what? <laughs> like, he was, he was literally four feet off the ground. He could not. Are you serious? He could not do it. Oh my gosh. We we tried Dude. to get him to do it for like 45 minutes and we just had to be like, all right, you know what? Screw it. Like we just transitioned to him already being on the ground. Wow. <laughs> he just couldn't do it. I think I remember seeing that cut <laughs> and it makes more sense now. He was super scared. I don't get, yeah, see I grew up jumping out of the back of trucks. That's not, that's not a big deal. Yeah. I have something that I call a rational fear of heights. <laughs> where like, I'm jumping off of a couple feet, three, four, five feet, no big deal. I'm on the top of a two-story building, that's when it kicks in. Yeah, I was like, that's a problem. That's a problem. <laughs> but yeah, man, so I, I, I know that like, I feel like it's kind of crazy that we're in our 30s now. Bruh. And like, I want to... It's like I'm kind of now starting to put the pedal to the metal, mm -hmm. but I wish I could have done more before now. Yeah. But it's kind of like everything's lining up to the point where, like back then, I didn't have the knowledge to do the scale of what I want to do. Mm -hmm. But now I kind of have that knowledge, and it's like, dang, it took me till I was 30. Like I'm 31 right? this year. I'm going 32. But you're going 32 this year. Or 32. Same. 32. Okay, we're both going to 32. Yeah. This year. And like now it's like all right, for the next ten years it's about to go down. Oh, <laughs> oh it's so going. So that's down. like for the next ten years we it gotta we gotta get it moving because oh. I'm gonna shoot everything I wanna make. There's so much stuff I want I just wanna do. Yeah. And it's like I, I look back on like all the stuff we shot and it's kind of like uh, looking at like gaining the skill. Yeah. To to get to where we are now, like yeah. like even with Blood, Blood Brothers, like that's a whole feature film. Yeah. And even that was like a learning process while doing mm -hmm. it. And like, I think I attempted three or four features. Yeah. Like, but like since I've known you. Yeah. And never been able to do one. Finally done one. Finally. And I'm, I'm literally in the process of editing the last scene. For oh, it. yes. Right now. And it's kind of like, it's almost sad. I'm, I'm, almost, I'm, I'm almost sad that I took this long. But at the same time. It's kind of like, you know, everything kind of feels like it's right mm. to be here in the 30s. Yeah. Because to be honest with you, I kind of like like my body type now. Right. Like we we bigger now. We like more right? swole. Right. We, we, like, we, we way more swole. We got facial though. hair and stuff. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. And like we're like, we look like men now. Right. And I will say like in our 20s, we didn't look like, <laughs> we didn't look like men. We're trying to play these male, like manly men roles. We look like babies. <laughs> our whole children. I'm telling you. And so, like, even I started looking back at, like, famous actors, like Robert Downey Jr., um, like, uh, Keanu Reeves, and guys like them. Mm. And I, I've, I've seen stuff that they've done in their 20s, mm. and they are total baby face. Like, they look nothing like we know them today. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so maybe we're supposed to kind of get going in our 30s. Maybe. <laughs> like, that's what I'm, I'm thinking about, because, like, we, we started looking like actual men in our 30s. Right. Well, I mean, that's the thing, though. Like, you see these kids, they say kids, that are, like, playing high school roles in, like, high school musical and stuff. Yeah. And they're in their 20s. Yeah, exactly. Matter of fact, I was casted for background role mm. on set of a movie called Fear Street and for a high school student. 
and I was 28 at the time. <laughs> I was 28 at the time. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm nowhere near high school. Not even close. But like, it's it's just crazy. I guess everything's kind of happening for a reason. Yeah. And so I'm liking where we are now. Mm -hmm. You have any regrets? Honestly, that we didn't do more dumb stuff, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, and we did a lot. We yeah. did a lot. But I'm kind of like, you know, I, that's why I'm like, man, if we're going to go pedal to the metal, let's, let's ride. Yeah. I'm ready. Because that's the reason I've been trying to keep up with everything. Because I'm like, look, I want to keep doing this stuff. Yeah. Until I fall apart and then I'm going to put it back together and we're going to do it again. <laughs> That's what we're going to be doing. Yeah, man, you've so. been in the gym for the past couple of years and, like, doing stuff. Right. I'm pretty sure you're in better shape than me now. <laughs> Got I've to been, be. I've been doing, like, the business -y stuff. Right? You've been doing <laughs> the business, and I've been taking care of the business. <laughs> so, I'm going to pop back in shape. You yeah, know? oh, you are. I'm going to pop back at it, you know, and because uh, them fight scenes be rough. Bro, no <laughs> like, kidding. Golly. I'm going to be in there running, running, gunning, shooting and stuff. There's a few more things that... We will need for some of the film stuff, mm -hmm. like equipment wise, but we pretty much got everything now. Like, we got the, like the mics, mm -hmm. lights. <laughs> I mean, you're Cameras, lenses. stacked with <laughs> the amount of lenses you have. You can shoot anything. Yeah. Literally anything. So, I'm ready, man. I'm excited for it. That's, uh, this is gonna be it, man. We're gonna we're gonna do a lot of stuff. We were talking about doing a LARPing movie. Yeah. And, then, and I don't think that's I don't even think that's enough for it to be a feature. So we're gonna like probably like blow through that. Oh yeah. And then um I got some more stuff. Oh, I wanna do like mock up commercials and stuff too. Oh think, yeah. Like 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 that one commercial I shot as a mock up, and I'm gonna try to sell those. And uh, oh, I got a kill commercial coming out. Really? Yeah. So oh. That's something I did with uh, one of the guys. Um, he worked at Kia. They gave him a car to borrow, and I was like, ooh, I'm going to shoot a commercial with this. Yo, uh, that's slick. <laughs> so it's not an official Kia commercial, but, but I still shot one. But if but Kia, if you hear this, hit him up. Hit me up, man. Hit him up. I'm affordable. <laughs> 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 so what's the type of stuff you want to work on? Dude, I, okay, so... I have learned after doing all the voiceover stuff, commercials are great and they're fun and that's fine. Bro, give me some like, I want to get like into it. I want to get a character and I want to go nosedive into him mm, because I don't even care what it is. It'd be a funny character, serious character. I could be fighting stuff. I could be a nerd who's like dweebing out on stuff. I don't care. I have noticed when I have a character I can finally like sink my teeth into and I get into it. It's good. Yeah. I have a guy that I did a uh, voiceover for for his channel. And he does like, and I hadn't worked with him in a hot minute, but when I did, the first thing I did with him, he was like, hey, I want you to do Peter Parker for this Spider-Man video I'm doing. And I was like, oh, finally. <laughs> oh, nice. let's go. And I went in on it. Like, the dude didn't pay me that much. I just was hyped for it. Yeah. So I was like, I went in on it. I mean, I'm putting emotion into it. I'm like listening to it. I said, no, I don't like my tone in this one sentence. I am deleting it and doing it again. Dang. I was like a director to myself. That's and I said it to him and he's like, bro, what did you just send me? And I'm like, I went in. I went in. That's all I was like. That's all I got. And he was like, awesome. and I worked with him for months after that because I was like, that's what I want, man. I want a character. I want to be able to get into it. And like infuse some of my weird personality with it and go go do it. Ooh, that means we gotta have some cool characters for these movies too. Oh yeah. Oh it's <laughs> oh, oh, we we're gonna, we're gonna shoot the uh the web warrior stuff too. Oh yeah, yeah that's so gonna be, be sick. You get to be craving. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna be starting on that too soon as well. I don't know, I might wait for it to get warmer before mm -hmm. actually shooting it. Because I don't know if I wanna be out here in spandex. Bro, like, <laughs> I would be fine. I don't know what your problem would be because I would have this like fur thing going on. I know. But y'all be freezing your spidey nuts out here, man. So, oh, here's a here's an interesting question. Before we met, mm -hmm. before we started shooting the, the crazy stuff we were shooting, yeah. Do you think you would have ended up in production work? Nope. Ain't no way. I was way too scared. Like, dude, I was that guy in high school that I remember, distinctly remember, 
senior year of high school chemistry class, I had to do a presentation. I stood up in front of the class. I got like 10 words in before I froze and it felt like an hour. Dang. I just froze. I didn't know what I was supposed to say. Mine went blank. I uh, stumbled over a few more words and rolled out something for a couple minutes, got out of there and I was like, done, I'm out of here. I ain't doing this again. Uh uh. And then now you pulled me out of that into this film and voiceover and craziness. And now speaking in front of people ain't a problem for me. Dang. It is crazy how it turned out. So, no, I would not be doing this. There's yeah. no way. You went from super shy, and now you're an actor, a voice actor, martial artist, yeah. LARPer. Because you'll be out there on the field putting in work too. A LARP Bro. Field. Bro, I'm just trying to keep up with you. I see you out there, and you're like, you got like some dude shield, and you got like two swords. You're like shield bashing, cut, cut, like spin move, drop kick, shung shung, took off someone's head. Like, I'm like, what the anime is going on? This is insane. Ain't nobody killing this man. And then a spear comes around and kills both of us at the same time. But that's not the point. But we killed like half the field. But we half. killed all of these people until we got to the boss battle, okay? Yeah, exactly. God. Yeah. Dang, man. So, in a way, like, I got to help you start this career. Yep. You are, you are a major influence for it. Like, primary influence for it. I'm Absolutely. Gonna, I'm going to, that's my goal, man. I want to help people over that. I see people who got tapped. Man, I saw you, and I was like, this man, he could do anything. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, hey, you, I need you. Right, right over here. <laughs> and, like, I want to do that with a lot of people. Yeah. So, ooh, I, which reminds me, because I've been watching a lot of Adam Sandler movies. I noticed that he does the same thing. Hmm. So, like, he has his own production company. Yeah. And all his movies are just made with his friends. Like, if you go yeah. through and watch a bunch of his movies, it's just the same people. Right. It's just the same people in all, in all, in everything. Right. And so, like, we can do that. We can do that. Jackie Chan did that. I'm like, we can do that. If, not, if Netflix can sign Adam Sandler to a multi-movie deal to hang out with his buddies and do films, I don't see why we can't do it. Exactly. Don't see any reason. So some of my goals is we're going to shoot a lot. So that's, that's what some of our goals. Um, I don't know if it'll be this year. I do want to get my hands on a Netflix approved camera. So that will be like, um, it's the Canon C70. Mm. It's like 5K. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if it'll happen this year. It could happen this year. Could. So could. for five grand, and that means that whatever we shoot, like we can literally send it off to Netflix and they and they can just pop it on. Yo, that would be bananas. Yeah, that'd so be insane. That, that's something I'm 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 working towards. And then uh, also the same Roku channel. Mm -hmm. So that's one of my goals as well. And just shooting a lot of cool stuff with a lot of cool people. Yeah, that's what, that's what oh. I want. Oh, it's gonna happen. Hundred percent this gonna year. Have to. Because I ain't stopping now. Let's go. Like I, I feel like I spent like the last like almost decade just learning the craft. Mm -hmm. It's almost like I've been in school, right? You know? And like all the projects have been like everything, learn this, learn that, do this, do that. And now mm. it's kind of like now it's time to work, right? So you got to get the job and work now. <laughs> I know. I've noticed that though. Every project that I see you do or we're part or I'm part of too, it's a little bit different somewhere. And I notice you're like tweaking things and messing with things here. You've, you've got it now. You've got oh, that. This year too, 3D animated project. We're going to do a 3D we animated project. We're going to do a 3D what? animated project. Yep. Yo. So that's another thing on the list too. That's nuts. It's going to be crazy. That's nuts. I'm about it. All right. We got to get out the cold too because uh, it's, it's kind of cold. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little chilly out here. But yeah, so, my, well, so these are our goals. We're putting it here, people are going to be able to see this, so we're going to be able to come back to this and be like, all right, we did that, we did that, we did that, we did that. Knocking it out. <laughs> going to be amazing. All right, guys, we're out. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh, yeah. My body's ready.